In my earlier videos, I covered why the idealistic notion of personal freedom and non-violence failed, demonstrably, in reality. And thus, libertarianism as a philosophy fails, demonstrably, in reality. Links are available in the description box. So, let's finish this off by going straight to the heart of libertarianism. Libertarianism is supposedly axiomatic. According to the Oxford English Dictionary, 2nd edition, and I quote, The nature of an axiom or admitted first principle, self-evident, indisputably true. And the founding axiom of libertarianism is self-ownership from which all other premises in this philosophy are derived. So, if this is not indisputably true, the whole house of cards comes tumbling down, libertarianism as a philosophy will die, and we shall never hear from the libertarian proselytizing internet evangelists again. Hmm. Ownership is an abstract concept. That was easy. Libertarianism is now dead. Move along. Nothing to see here. Only the twitching corpse of another failed philosophy. What? You want more? That wasn't a sufficient explanation. Oh, okay. But I should be getting some kind of recompense for this, you know. But all I'll probably get are fundamentalist trolls. For an understanding of an abstract concept... See my video on Mathematics is an Abstract Concept. Link in the description box. Ownership is a man-made idea. So, self-ownership is also a man-made idea. It is a compelling and agreeable idea for many in the West. But this in itself does not make it indisputably true. It is simply a philosophical standpoint. And other philosophical standpoints disagree namely some of the Eastern philosophies, that have non-materialistic and thus non-ownership philosophical standpoints. Thus, the idea of ownership is disputed, and is disputable, as virtually all man-made ideas are. And this means libertarianism loses its indisputably true axiom status, and the house of cards comes tumbling down. What do you mean that was a pedantic technicality? Logic is pedantic. You either accept logic, or you do not. You've got to love these either all black and white scenarios. If you accept logic, and libertarianism has no axiomatic basis, and it fails fundamentally at its core, or you deny logic, and libertarianism becomes a philosophical system based on your own personal preferences and beliefs, that is, it becomes a theistic philosophy. And hallelujah! You have a belief based on nothing more than your own personal idea of certainty, with no logical backing. Something to think about, isn't it? Have fun.